I'm Jake and we're back with another Down and Dirty where we take simple problems and create quick solutions. Today we're doing a dog dish holder, so let's get into it. So as always, I already took the dimensions. So we have all the dimensions of the outer and inner dimensions of the dog bowl and also how high it needs to be off the ground in order for these dog bowls not to be sitting on the ground when they're in the holder. So let's go straight to the CAD. I'm gonna start by making a simple sketch. And we're gonna also start by drawing up two lines. We're gonna make both of these lines construction lines. And that's just gonna help us keep everything flat and in orientation. And we're gonna draw two circles. One circle being our food bowl and our right circle being our water bowl. And it's gonna get a little messy here, but we're gonna go ahead and add these dimensions. The first one is on the outer side of the water bowl is gonna be 11 and a half inches. We can click and drag this over. And then the other one is nine and three quarter inches. And again, we're gonna click and move this over. Uh, I typically use points a lot and I can click and make a point here and I can make a point here. What that allows me to do is make a nice clean dimension. I want the two bowls to be uh, an inch apart um, in the center. So it just could cosmetically speaking, we're gonna add two half inch dimensions on each. So again, these circles are gonna be the outside dimensions of our circle. So I need to make it so that the bowl sits on the inside. So we have a new dimension on here that we're gonna draw two more circles for. One, two, and these are slightly smaller at nine and a quarter. And this one is 10 and three quarters. Um, for simplicity's sakes, we're gonna click these two outer circles and make them construction. So when we do our extrusion process, they don't kind of hinder us and make us click more. And then lastly here, we're gonna do a new rectangle on the outside. We're gonna do a center rectangle. So I can click here and we're gonna open it up so that it goes around our two dog bowls. Um, actually, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna do a center rectangle, but we're gonna make it so that it is not centered around that overall. We're gonna make it so that it's the same across the two. So I'm gonna draw a new line from here to here. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna click on our overall line and use the midpoint on our rectangle. What this is gonna do is it's gonna center it over the two circles instead of the center point that we have there. So we have an even spacing kind of on the outside. It'll kind of do the math for us. Now we can kind of make an arbitrary dimension. So let's just say 25 inches. And let's make this just slightly larger. So let's say 14 inches. So now we're good to go. We can go ahead and create that first flange. Uh, we're gonna click on the flange here. We're gonna say a new component and we want aluminum 63 thousandths. So click OK. So now we're, uh, we have the top part of our dog bowl. We can use the flange call out again, and we're gonna drag this down. Again, we want this to be five inches vertically like this, but cosmetically speaking, and also structurally speaking, we're gonna kick these sides out. So if we open these up to say 60 degrees, we actually, now only have about probably about four and a half inches here. So we're gonna lengthen this out and we're gonna call it seven inches overall. It's a big dog that's gonna be drinking out of these, so it's not gonna have a problem reaching over the edge. So now we have that edge, everything looks really good there. Let's go ahead and mirror that across. Mirror across the center. Oh, we gotta create a go back. We're gonna create mid-plane here. Now we can create that flange and mirror across. So seven, we're gonna call this 60. Two degrees here. We can also double check this height by clicking here 
on the inspection and clicking on this line. And we can see here, we have a six inch tall flange. So we're actually losing about an inch. So I actually might switch and I, I'm gonna reduce that down um, to six inches. So now we know that we're about a five inch tall dog bowl holder. Now we can go ahead and mirror that across. So we're gonna do a feature. We're gonna mirror this feature across this plane. So now we have both sides done. We don't have to do all that repetitive work there. Lastly, we need to make a front on this. And so I'm gonna have the front include hardware and tabs, and that's gonna allow it to kind of lock in this thing and not have it have these be the only support that's holding the dog bowls off the ground. So we're gonna click and create a new sketch. We're gonna sketch on this surface here, and I can do a simple projection of all of these surfaces. This is gonna kind of quicken up the time and we're also gonna get a good accurate representation of that. And then I can draw maybe a little bit of a, a funner shape into this by going up and across. I'm gonna draw it on just the one side. And I'm actually gonna give ourselves a little bit of a square edge here so that we don't have any weird warping. We're gonna move that up a half an inch. We'll go straight across on a horizontal. And let's make this be a fixed angle of 20 degrees. We're gonna move this. Right now we're just kind of playing with random numbers, so nothing's too fine but that looks pretty good to me. We're gonna go ahead and mirror this over the center line that I made. We're gonna mirror this line, this line, and this line. Mirror it over the center, call it good. And now we're to the point where we're gonna make another flange, but this is gonna be a new component. So we're gonna make sure we select new component here, and we're gonna make it out of that same aluminum. So now we have essentially two bodies here. You can see that one on the outside and one on the inside here. What this is gonna allow us to do is I can make these turns and go on the inside of this body. It might be actually easier if we hide the first component. We're just looking at the front of the dog bowl now. And click here. We're gonna space it in a half an inch. We're also gonna repeat this across the whole entire dog bowl. So we have these all these little flanges here. If I bring back in that other component, you can see here we actually have an issue, right? So that it's, it's actually flush in with the actual outer. So what we have to do is modify this and we need to say that we want it on the inside. And that does is that moves that flange to the inside of, those, of the outer body and we can have a relationship between the two. So now if we look at it, we have a bend relief put in this corner. Fusion does that automatically if you have your sheet metal settings. Again, that's on our material details on our website. And all we need to do now is put in the hardware holes and we're ready to go. So we're gonna click here. I typically will do a projection so that I can see what this looks like on the back side on the outside here, so we're gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna draw a center line here to here. We're gonna draw a hole right at the midpoint. And we can make this hole pretty much any size right now. Um, actually, I think we're gonna make it 150, something like that. Extrude it through. Uh, actually, we want to pattern this hole. Go backwards here. Create a pattern. And we're going to click the direction we want it up and down this line. We're going to pull and drag this down. We're going to make it both directions. So we got a hole on each, either side of it. And we're going to click OK. Now we can do an extrusion.
all the way through. So now what we do is we have our holes on our outside and we have those holes on the inside panel. So if we're looking at those two different components independently, they're ready to go on that. We're going to mirror that entire setup across again. So we're gonna mirror those holes here. Click OK. So now we have those holes on the other side. Lastly, we're gonna do it one more time up here. We're going to project this. We're gonna draw a center line again. And that center line is actually not centered because of that warping. Oh, well, we did the same thing on our ones. Create that as a construction. I didn't do it last time. Okay, and then now we're going to draw a circle at the midpoint. Just going to be over here. Once again, 50, and we're going to pattern that out. Placing symmetric. five overall, looks pretty good. Extrude it and we are ready to go. Okay, so now that we have the front panel done, all of the outside hardware done, we're gonna go ahead and um, make our flat patterns. The reason why we wanna make two different components when we do this is that each component individually can only have one flat pattern in Fusion. And so if we made the first one be, if we made all of these bodies, I'd have to create a flat pattern, create the DXF, erase the flat pattern, create a new flat pattern, make the DXF so it creates redundancy. In this one right here, what we can do is simply select active component. It's gonna highlight this one. Now we can come to sheet metal, create flat pattern. We can select our face, click OK. And now we can see that flat pattern pop up. We can go ahead and save our DXF. If we go back to the overall model, we can see here when we drop down our menu, that flat pattern shows up here, where this component doesn't have a flat pattern quite yet. So we can also highlight this, create another flat pattern here, click OK. We have our last flat pattern that we can click Finish. So I'm gonna go ahead, create those DXFs, get them on the website, and then we're gonna order them, go through the process, and we'll get this dog bowl made. All right, we have our DXFs in the app, so let's go ahead and configure the parts. We're gonna start with the top part, the holder one. We're gonna add to cart, metals, aluminum, 5052, 63 thousands. Click next. We only have to assign bending on this one, and it's 60 degrees, and it's either up or down, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to down just because we're in the same view that we were when we're in CAD. We can double check this in the 3D to make sure it looks close. We're gonna add our bending, add our cart, and then we wanna click and add one more drawing, which is our front panel. We're gonna add the cart, we're gonna click metal, aluminum, 5052, and 63 thousandths again. On this one, we're gonna add bending and hole operations. So on this one, we have three bends, and this one is a mirror image, so it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna go 90, 90, 90. We can double check it on our 3D, it looks good. And then we can do one more thing, which is add our hole operations. And we're gonna be adding hardware, which is our, um, 632 hardware, we're gonna click 632 and apply. This is applying it to all of them. And the last thing we wanna check is orientation. So we wanna make sure that that hardware, if we zoom in here, 
we can see that hardware is on the inside and not the outside of the part. And that's important because the screws are gonna be on the outside. We want that nut to be pulled through. We're gonna add our hole operations and then add it to cart. Let's go ahead and order these, take it to the manufacturing floor. And this is what I call a down and dirty dog bowl holder. For more information on hardware and bending, check out the links below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.